Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations, Prosecutor's Path. We have Gummy back. That is all. I'm Rob, uh, I record. There we have Lawrence. Who is silent. We have Iffy. Who is also silent. What is happening? Alex? <laughs> What's up, dude? Okay. Is Alex is talking. We're all trying to I, 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 I really wanted to continue. But no. I, I really wanted to continue if I was like, I I, I can't be that mean. I'm going to do it. Not I'll, I'll let him talk. Y'all are, was... are bitches. I was to look, Rob. I didn't, Rob didn't listen to me in the last episode when I said I passed out. That's why I was pretending to be quiet. If he did, they probably got the joke or came up with a new joke and been silent too. And then you just had to ruin it. I just uh, he was crazy. We never existed to begin with. Uh, there's Nicole, anyways, go with it. Go. All my hard work's helped move the case forward. I reckon it's all a good day's work. I'm not so sure about that. We've been chasing after an entirely different person. Indeed, it seems she did not properly examine the photo earlier. What now? Am I for me all that bad? Yes. End of line. Yes. <sighs> Admit to your faults, Edgeworth. Sorry. Excuse me, I burped. Um, <laughs> a day ago, I missed my fault. Fuck you. <laughs> Some of the blame also Man. falls on us for a while dubious source of information. It's time for us to regroup and start over. Okay, hold on a sec. I don't think I'm staying quiet after being called a dubious source. I got another thing coming. And I guess I'll just have to tell you about the scoop I've been saving. You've been saving a scoop. Have I screwed this? Yeah, I got this count of candy from that weird guy. I'm saving it for later. Oh, no, I'm not expecting much. Let's hear it. What's this scoop of yours? It's Moozilla. I have decisive evidence that the mighty Moozilla exists. Okay, let's go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, I've been sick. I'm being serious. Y'all might not believe it, but it's true. I'm sorry, but I'm too busy walking away to pay attention. Walking away? We don't have much time, but I guess there's no other way. I can't be just walking just... ray shields. <laughs> what just... anybody want a hug? Would this decisive evidence of yours be something you record in that tape recorder? <clears throat> That's a mistake for you. You're good at figuring things out, ain't you? <coughs> if the sound of Mozilla spewing out fire, this place nearly became a sea of flames. If you say so. Don't make that face. I think I'm landing. Have a listen for it yourself. Ready? Here comes the flame. Uh, how's that? Hmm. It's hard to tell over your shouting, but if you say so, I guess they could be flames. Miss Swift, did you truly witness these so-called flames? Well, well I'll tell you the truth, I don't really see it with my own two eyes. And kind of, um, uh, well, then actually, there at the time. If Musa had appeared, wouldn't you have noticed no matter where you were? Mm, well, I was the ways off, and I was using a certain truth. So, uh, what? Mm -hmm. Could you explain to me this recording method in more detail? Um, I guess I'll just, uh, I guess I just do my own breathing. The recording method. Curious, I was aiming for a scoop, so I did some wireless wiretap. That's illegal. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wireless wiretapping? If there's no wires, how'd you tap them? Please, please don't concern yourself to semantics. She's intercepting radio waves. She was simply intercepting the wireless communications and listening about in without permission. I've spent the last few days scooping out the grand tower of my inventory. So you're investigating the black market auctions. 
In that case, you actually would have tapped the immediate area uh, you're in surroundings. Blah, 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 blah. Bitch, and whatever the fuck you just said. <laughs> right then and there, I hear an ear shattering roar. Finally, a Mozilla appeared, and the power was pounding. I feel him draw near. So, everything except the sound is just her own personal impressions, right? In the end, it seems that you didn't actually see anything. Well, I reckon Ryan's more my thing anyway, so I continue to turn... So I continue turning into the situation. Tuning. Is it tuning or turning? Well, Miss Kayo's are almost scattered as my eardrums. He's dropping us for cowards. Why don't you come out here and fight us fair and square? We've already done this before. Like, literally last episode. I see, Miss Swift. When you were eavesdropping, you were surprised by Kay's voice and fell over. In other words, you did not hear her voice directly. You heard it with the radio waves emitted by the bug, did you not? What? Then, then, does that mean who planted the bug on me was... Uh, I was just eavesdropping. I, I never stopped stupid to bugging nobody. Miss Swift, do you mind if we borrow our tape for a while? Uh... Just, what, just do what you please, Lord. Thank you for the tape. <laughs> so long, and thanks for all the tape. Oh no. That was probably Barry. That one was... Is that Simon? Regina Barry? Regina or, Barry. Uh, Mr. Jesus, Edward! Mr. Keys, Miss Barry! I do not, I'm not prepared for this high-pitched voice. D -d did you find him? Not yet. Just where could John be? John? Ah, no, no, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. I don't know anything about the kidnapping. We can't use a bitch we found not too long ago. Really? That's great. Thank you so much. Now I won't be arrested again. As expected of Mr. Edgeworth, how'd you find him? Naturally, it was all thanks to the powers of logic and reasoning. Actually, it was just a coincidence. Logic and reasoning. <laughs> Search for Sebastian. I guess we weren't any help at all, were we? Don't be silly. Of course you helped, really, thanks a lot. But where were you guys searching, Simon? Dude, it was a bit far off, but we searched around the Sunshine Coliseum. The Sunshine Coliseum? Is there by the shore? There were a lot of people at the event there, man, so I thought he might have gone as well. That area's not significant until next game. An event? Sounds like fun. Is it a festival? I want to go too. It was a lot of fun. There are food stands, fireworks, weed, crack, and a lot more. Simon gotcha. got worn out by all the people in the crowd pretty quickly, though. And by all that weed. You didn't have to tell him that. <laughs> you already told us about the weed. Get settled. Once we wrap up this case, let's all go there. The circus show. I feel like we're in a fucking circus show already. At any rate, man, I'm glad you were able to find him so quickly. Why is that? Truth is, our circus show is about to start soon. I'm high as a kite. So I don't think we'd have been able to help out with the search much longer. Hmm, sorry to burn your orders when you're needed to prepare for your performance. No, no, it's okay. Please don't worry about it. After all, I also didn't want to get arrested again. I'm so relieved you're able to find him, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, but the warden still hasn't been declared guilty yet. What? Dude, so you're saying there's still a chance I might be arrested? No way, no way, dude, no! Pass me what? a J. <laughs> hey, stop it. <sighs> That's not him. Dude, where, where's that J, though? I need it. <laughs> 
Logic. Like, come back. <laughs> Sound of explosion. Event at Colosseum. Logic. Mr. Keys, didn't you say that there were... Yeah, didn't you say that there were fireworks at the Colosseum earlier? Huh? What about them? Were those fireworks set up during the day? Yeah. Even just while we were there, a bunch of them were set off. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? That explosion sound we heard at the end of the kidnapper's phone call. Could very well have been the fireworks. Yeah. Oh my god. Don't think you can get away with this. Oh my god. We'll send you Prince Horace. We are literally at the Nemec building up saga, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking drag one. We so got 20 we... minutes to find John, five episodes of flashback. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is Dragon Ball with how many times this shit Never could pieces. blow up in five minutes. <laughs> I blow up there. This is we have enough for 24 minutes. episodes. <laughs> well, the sound have been picked up by the phone, it must have been fairly loud. So that means the culprit was near the Coliseum. Even so, I bet the fireworks could be heard in lots of places around the Coliseum. Indeed, it would be impossible for us to search the entire area by ourselves. If only we could have the police lend us a hand. Well, look who's here. How do we... But how do we? I don't think we can. Oh. Uh, we, haven't checked, we haven't checked to scan the guard the junk area yet. No, Mr. Ashford, don't leave me again! Gummy said John headed towards the garbage pickup area. Indeed, there might be some trace of him left behind. I won't rest. I'm not going to sleep because I'm not allowed to. Garbage Milk. pickup left. Milk. This milk carton is. It's the one John was drinking out of. There's no mistaking. Someone's crying over the spilt milk. The garbage pickup time is at 11 a.m., so why is there no trash? So why is there no trash? But here's the thing. It's currently almost 2 p.m. When I looked over here earlier, the place was overflowing with garbage, sir. Here, that's my memory. Looks like today is the day when the bulk waste is collected out during the garbage pickup. There really were a lot of bulky items placed here, pal. The garbage truck's compactor can crush any kind of garbage to dust. No, it seems in the case of bulk waste, it is transported as is, without being crushed. Huh. Why do you know about how bulk waste is disposed of, Mr. Edgeworth? He was considering his employment options. <laughs> ah, maybe Mr. Shields, in order to accomplish his plant Mr. Edgeworth acquisition plan, sent him something like a moving process instructional brochure. There are times when you're so sharp, it's scary. Although, they're few and far between. <laughs> Ouch. Combined with Detective Gumshoe's testimony, the chances are high that John was attacked at the garbage pickup area. John's bill carbon was found here, likely the place he was attacked. I presume logic is cars that pass by in there. If it was here, there wouldn't be many witnesses. But why would John have come to a place like this? It would be natural to think that he came here to throw something away. We have no way of knowing, since so the garbage truck has already collected everything. Logic. Uh, garbage pickup area, cars that came through. So that's the blue truck. The only vehicles that came through the plaza this morning were the taxi and the blue truck. And Mr. DeBest was kidnapped in that taxi. Yes, meanwhile John was attacked in the garbage pickup area. Imagine the only two cars that are passing through somewhere are both kidnapping people. Kidnapping, Tom? Is that a fuck? Sorry. And the garbage was collected from there at 11 a.m. Ah! Got it, sir. The blue truck was actually... That's right! The blue truck that came through the plaza was a garbage truck. However, be that as it may, the officer who gave us this information made no mention that the blue truck was a garbage truck. 
Talk about careless. How could someone mistake a garbage truck for a normal truck? That's not it, Kay. Today was the day for collection of bulk waste. I suspect it was a standard truck about cut the trash compactor that came by to collect the trash. John was taken away by this garbage truck. And where do garbage trucks go? To the dump, of course. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. The culprit was disguised as a garbage collector, right? Then the truck was probably fake, too. How do we know they really went to the dump? Look, the garbage truck should have been real. Eh? Why is that? I'll be made clear if you simply take a look at the garbage pickup area. There's no trash. Hmm, there's something important there? Apparently it's not. Is it garbage pickup at 11? It's probably the lock. The lock, I guess, yeah. Because you're going to have broken in. Yeah, it's the lock. The lock. The uh, Yatta lock. Da 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 da. Okay. This shows on lock. The garbage pit area is locked. Ah, only a real garbage collector could have unlocked it to collect the trash. Precisely, we should assume that the genuine garbage truck was used. For example, the kidnapper could have put John in a large cardboard box. If the box looks mixed in with the rest of the bulk waste. The garbage collector would have carried John away without even knowing it. Exactly, the culprit would then lie and wait at the garbage jump. And if they said, I threw it away by mistake, the box would be returned to them. Hmm, any garbage dumps nearby? Let's see, yeah, there's two of them. Dawn Waste Switch. Center and Dust Garbage Waste Management. Dawn and wonder, Dusk, huh? I wonder which one he's at. Sunshine Coliseum, Rising Sun Park, Dawning Morning Street, Street, Sunshine Harbor. Tron, from, Sunshine Harbor? From, sun, from Mario, from fucking... Super Earl Mario, Bright uh, City Hall, what? Sunset Avenue, Twilight Station. Yeah, Hold up, Twilight yeah. Station? Yeah, but Rob, you, you make a reference to that, but not to Sunshine Harbor, like from Mario? Yeah, but Twilight Station, man. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. Could there be a hit in any information I hold? I wonder hey, what Sunset it is. Sunset Avenue has a song, too. Fuck that. Near the Coliseum, which guy? Good lord. Good lord. Based on the explosion that we heard from the kidnapper's phone, we know that John is being confined in some place in the vicinity of the Colosseum. One of the garbage dumps is right next to the Colosseum. John was almost certainly taken there. In which case, the place he is being confined to must also be somewhere close by. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir. Can I ask you to search the area around the garbage dump? You don't have to ask me like we're strangers, sir. It feels so distant. Please just order me around like you normally do. Are you sure, Detective? Right now I'm not a prosecutor. Didn't I tell you, sir? Detectives don't just investigate for the sake of prosecutors. You have my thanks, Detective. Then go search it now. Yeah! Mr. Edwards, look, it's almost time. Yes, it would be best if we hurry. They should also be at their limit. Take the gumshoe, I'm counting on you. Leave it to me, sir. This may be an unofficial, unofficial investigation. But I'll call it all of my pals from the station to help. I'll help, too. Stealing John back is my job, after all. I'll be returning to the courtroom. I might be able to draw some more time. Okay, well then, even in the depths of night... Hmm, the top just struck two. And I need to go poo, so we must hurry. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, sir! <laughs> <laughs> ah, my introduction! When no other bird dares to take flight! Alright, if... Meanwhile... You ready? He's not any of these people. Uh, he will be one of these people. Who? Oh? You'll see. Trisha. 
Oh, no, 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 no
Arnold Edgeworth, just now you referred to that document as a written report. Now, just who in the world was that report written for? I thought you might ask that, Francisca. And that's precisely what is most important about this report. We found this document inside the safe of the storeroom in on the 30, yeah, the 31st, clearly, the 51st floor of the Ground Tower. The 51st floor? The storeroom for the Black Market Auction? Indeed, and the conductor of the auction was you, Blaze the Best. Looking at the fire, watching it burn. <laughs> You received a report about the victim from Warden Roland. In the face of this evidence, can you still say you have no connection to this case? In regards to that, I refuse to answer. Son of a bitch, he's <laughs> pleading the fifth. What? I said I plead the fifth, Edgeworth. It's a perfectly normal right, and I could invoke it whenever the fuck I want. I have rights, Edgeworth. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution <laughs> says you do. <laughs> it has yet to be proven in court that I was the conductor of the black market auction. Oh, have you avoided forgotten the events this morning? I believe I've already proved it way back then, did I not? I will not deny that I was bested by you. However, that was at the crime scene. Who knows if the results will be the same in court. An acquittal is still possible, you see. Until it's been proven in court that I am the conductor of the black market auctions. You can't prove that document was addressed to me. Your logic is twisted. It's not very nice, you know. My logic isn't twisted, is it, Courtney? Don't you feel the same way? It was quite unlike you to allow former prosecutor Edgeworth's statement just now, you know. It saddens me, you see, that you would fail to uphold the laws a judge should. In fact, I'm so upset by this, I may have no other choice but to use my last resort, you know. Burns away the documents. <laughs> it is as you say. Something that has not been proven in court does not merit any deliberation. I will have to overrule Mr. Edward's claim. You won't have to until John has been rescued. You see, the truth in the scene and the truth in the courtroom are two very different things. So you're saying the truth can be distorted in court as long as it's for your sake. What a horrible thing to say. I'm not distorting the truth or anything like that, you know. If a not guilty verdict is handed down, then that becomes the truth. That's all it is, you see. It's useless. There's nothing we can do unless that missing evidence turns up. Now then, Courtney, why don't you deliver a not guilty verdict and let's get this over with? After all, that evidence isn't going to show up anytime soon, you know. Here he is. It's him. <laughs> Who raised an objection just now? The best. Around. Daddy. Sebastian. <laughs> Why did you come back here? Now of all times. Sebastian, what is the meaning of this? Just what were you- but just where were you and what have you been doing since what you abandoned your own time? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was- um... Such an act is unbecoming of a prosecutor. You should be ashamed. I- I'm- we- well, uh... Sebastian, you still don't get it, you know. This court is no place for a sniveling child such as yourself. And it- I- Aye. Here he is. I've come to present new evidence, Your Honor. So, so please let me take my place back at the prosecutor's bench. The oh, theme. My bitch, I right. Yeah. It's a bitch. I didn't think it would come back. Objection. 
<laughs> What's all this now, Sebastian? You don't seem at all like your normal self. Got it. Mm, come now, what's the matter? You want daddy to play with you? Is that it? Well then, why don't we just head on back home? Can't you do what this stand? What's wrong? You're shaking like a leaf. Your Honor, the prosecutor officially in charge of this case has just arrived with new evidence. The trial is still in session. In light of this, should we continue with the proceedings? <laughs> Naturally, the defense has no objections, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm sure the defense attorney originally in charge would say the same. What's up, Fifi? I just, just really happy. Just, just fucking Raven shows us popping in. No context, just <laughs> yeah, the, the otter collapse. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I just like how it slowed down, so it just zoomed in. No context, just yeah. Hey, <laughs> the prosecution has no objections either, Your Honor. <laughs> Continue with the proceedings. That won't be necessary. Isn't that right, Courtney? But he still believes that he was the one who kidnapped John. As long as John still has been found, Judge Courtney will remain bound by Blaze and nothing else will be changed. That. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that sound is. A cell phone. I called her on her cell phone. But my phone as well. Yeah, Uncle Ray's phone is off. Awesome. Imagine calling everyone inside the fucking courtroom. As Edra Pope comes up, two phones. Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Shields! SpongeBob! <laughs> <laughs> we found John, sir! The res we rescued John! So work, detective. Fuck that you, kid was the most important piece of evidence, right? Way to go, Kay! <laughs> I wanted to spread the word quickly, so I had everyone call. <laughs> two people called. <laughs> I'm like two and a half. Now, call me, it's for you. Take it. Your free tone is trash. Yes, I see. I'm... I'm so glad you're safe. Make sure you properly thank everyone, okay? Be careful. And come home safe. <clears throat> Let us resume the proceedings. Now that I may once again swing my gavel to my heart's content. <laughs> You're kidding, right? This is just a set joke, you know. Witness, yeah. this is no joke. Please return to the stand. Prosecutor to best as well. Promptly return to your seat at the prosecutor's bench. Yes, Your Honor. It's looking a little packed here. Sebastian the best. Yes, Miss Ankara? I leave the rest to you. Huh? Going up against your own father. It won't be easy. I shall observe how things pan out. Holmes the gallery. Bye. I will never see an upward form again. Now then, allow oh, me to ask once more. Me. Is the prosecution ready? Prosecutor the best, what is this new evidence you wish to present? The missing knife and chisel, Your Honor. You mean they've finally been found? Prosecutor the best, is this true? The, the knife and chisel. I was able to find them. <laughs> I started to search, I really did, but it was already too late. Too late? What do you mean? I remembered. This morning when I passed by the Pops in the garage, oh. <clears throat> was holding something wrapped in a newspaper. Oh. Daddy, what are you doing? 
Ah, oh, Sebastian, just taking out some trash. At that moment, I hurt. The faint sound of a bell. Could that sound have been, by any chance? The bell attached to Durgan's chisel? In other words, you're saying that the witness threw away the evidence. Well, I'm right for don't I? <laughs> I searched for it, but I didn't make it. I'm sorry. Ah. Where exactly did you search for it? Garbage dump. East Coast. I went to the garbage dump and searched everywhere. Thought the evidence pops through. We had to be there. Ah, uh, I see. The trash have returned to where it belongs. Hmm. Isn't that Sebastian? Ah, what are you doing here? Uh, he ignored crazy us. Crazy day. So at that time, he had gone to the garbage dump. But, but, this is the only I could find. This is... Smells rather peculiar. Now that you mention it, there's kind of a funky smell coming from you as well. What do you expect? I'll stick him through the garbage, pricks. <laughs> I want the not of funky. <laughs> you could bury someone in a mountain of trash. But I couldn't find it by myself. I understand. I shall accept this into evidence. <laughs> well done, Sebastian. You never betray my expectations, you know. Not that there's many of them. You search so desperately through the garbage and that's all you have to show for it. Oh, what a dear joker. I'm tearing up already. It's a bit too early for tears, don't you think? We haven't examined the evidence properly yet. I think it's just a pointless waste of time, you know. I think mean, you're a pointless piece of shit. I'm counting on you, <laughs> Sebastian, Miles. Show him that the truth can be exposed in court and take him down. Mr. Kim is backing us up. Not only is a breakthrough. Prosecutor Vets, let's take a closer look at the evidence. Right. Turn it around and says, right here. Let's have a look at the <laughs> It'd be great if we could find some proof. Let's this is the bell that was attached to Dogen's chisel. Are there any traces left or behind on it? Alright, it's not good. There's not even a single smudge on it. What did you find, Prosecutor the Best? Did you even find anything? I found this metal finger I'm giving you, prick. Of course you'd <laughs> find nothing. Something like that can't be called evidence, you know. All it is, is trash. It may be sad, but that's the truth, you see. A little bit like you. Are uh, Sebastian's efforts all for naught? Indeed, this bell does not seem to be valid evidence. However... Mr. Andrew, are you really giving up? Calm as always, Edgeworth. Quite unlike Sebastian here. Well then, is the prosecution finished with its argument? Objection. The best coming in. This thing not yet. I'm not through yet. There's just something we haven't examined. You're still not giving up. Struggling in vain's not cute at all, you know. Bitch, I'm adorable. Kim's affection hasn't given up yet either. I was just thinking the exact same thing. The last <laughs> item remaining. Is it trash or is it evidence? If we don't examine it, we'll never find out. The newspaper. I was done, not done examining the newspaper that the bell was wrapped in. Hey! Good job, the best. Seems that the Bastion has the same idea as I do. Well, this is just wonderful, you know. So wonderful it's to cry for. Is it desperation or simply reckless abandon? Are you really going to pin all your hopes on a worthless scrap of newspaper? Speaking from experience? 
We won't know for sure whether or not it's worth us until we examine it. She will be. Sebastian, examine it. I'll do it. Look at the back of the newspaper. Is this a hat print? There's something greasy on here, too. Is it oil? Supposedly. Judge Cordy, we'd like to request a fingerprint analysis on this paper. Could you please summon someone from forensics? Your request is accepted. Contact the lab at once. But those aren't fingerprints. Good Grease enough. print. Alex. Alex. Reporting. These are definitely fingerprints. Rex. In... However, it's from a glove. No shit. Hmm? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? It's nothing but a worthless scrap of paper. Just think about it, you know. When handling important evidence, what kind of idiot wouldn't use gloves? Oh, wait. Doesn't that happen? that be you, the <laughs> idiot who doesn't know when to give up? It's like, doesn't every prosecutor and defense attorney handle evidence about gloves in this game? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. We have to manhandle the murder weapon. <laughs> I think in the no. anime, I think in the anime, they actually do use gloves. Yeah, they do. So it's kind of implied they use gloves when they need to. It's just they don't show it. Nah, they just they don't. <laughs> They're all murderers. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty harsh, talking to your son like that. What's wrong with calling an idiot an idiot? All right, Derek. If you want to be the best, you have to be heartless. That's not I funny. have no compassion for worthless individuals. Not even my own son. Get it. I... You know, you've always called yourself a genius prosecutor, haven't you? Didn't I explain to you this morning why you were a genius up until now? That's right. It was all because of me. Because of my authority. You were always being protected by people like Courtney. And me. Now get that stinking face of yours out of my sight. Thinking. You know, now that I think about it, that stench might just suit you perfectly. Just keep it away from my nose, or my eyes will start watering. Oh, um, you're wrong, Daddy. Sebastian, what are you talking about? You're. No oh, one stinks. It's you, not me. You smell. <laughs> he, he told it. He, man, he just told Blaze he smells, and Blaze is not having it. <laughs> you haven't noticed, have you? You smell. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so much you can't even hide it. <laughs> You're shit. <laughs> Andrew, try smelling the handprint of the newspaper. It smells like it shit. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like oil. I know something that smells just like it. Come to me for it. Back then. It smells like motor oil. Maintain the motorcycle as Blaze's hobby. That's right. The smell proves it. It proves that the culprit who hit the evidence was. It's no good. Guess I can't become the best after all. <clears throat> I'm too soft. I could never be so heartless. I just can't bring down my feather with my own hands. Also, get to the best. Do it. Summon your courage. Show your might. Become a different prosecutor from your father. Wasn't that your creed? We are prosecutors, and as prosecutors, we stand in the courtroom. Is that fire, Mr. Edgeworth? Isn't it our duty to shed light on the truth? No, doesn't matter. Exposing crimes and bring criminals to justice. Even if the criminal is your own father, it is your duty as a prosecutor. <laughs> Didn't I promise you that if you have the courage to stand up, I will show you the way. And if you cannot yes, do it alone, then we shall do it together, my brother. <laughs> yes, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. 
Now we get to present as the I'm best. Allow me to present the evidence that connects this handprint to my fault. Why did I say take that? Because you're a glory haunting asshole. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's Edgeworth that has the evidence, so. It's true. This is the same. Same of. This is the same. This is the smell of motor oil, the kind used for maintaining motorcycles. Of myself and Mr. Orif have smelled this exact same smell before. This smelly smell that smells. Smelly. Blaze the best! It was in your garage! <clears throat> and when you say these fingerprints have a peculiar shape, the five buttons that spell out D E A T H is exactly the same as your gloves. Objection! <laughs> you can buy gloves like that from anywhere. It just proves a thing. Is that really the case? It's not the only thing these two pieces of evidence have in common. Let's read for a the fingerprints on the newspaper that was used to at the bell. And Blaze's mechanics gloves. This is the unmistakable similarity they both share. It's the faded letter A. 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 A, A, A is for attorney. A, A, uh, and for A.A. on. If you examine the, the imprint left by letter A, you'll see it's unmistakably from this glove. What? Oh, the cut through that. I mean, just about, like, just very faintly. And really? that's not all. Oh, it was very funny. It was, like, very faint. There's one more item we must take note of. Namely, these dirt stains. I suggest we do a comparative analysis of the dirt stains from the newspaper to the glove. If the contents match up, then it will prove to be decisive evidence. Bailiff, please have these dirt samples sent to forensics for analysis immediately. Gah! Hedgeworth! Sebastian! You lowly prosecutors, do you have any idea who I am? Ups, you can't run away. It's been proven in court that you concealed the evidence. That you tried to cover for the defendant? You're saying that I'm guilty? That I'll be sent to prison? Me, Blaze the Best! A couple of snot nosed punks are gonna make me disappear! There must be some mistake! Be a man and admit your crimes! Objection! Do you really think you can survive if I'm not around? I. I'll be fine enough. I have a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> I want that. I wanted to become the best prosecutor so I can be get your approval that day. But no one else given it by your men and stuck in that dark, dark room. I started thinking. Fuck you. And I am truly powerless. I despaired and averted my eyes from the you did truth, also think, but... You did also think fuck you as well. <laughs> he also thought fuck you. <laughs> At that moment, Mr. Ecker stepped in and showed me the way. Like a true brother. Don't sit in here, go <laughs> there! <laughs> get in that motorcycle and, now, and get out! And now I am no longer just a child. I've become capable. I can find evidence all on my own now. I'm no I longer a guy way. who skips people's lines. I didn't skip it. It went move on its own. Oh. Yeah. What? My men kidnapped you! Why were you- Objection. Pops, I'll show you the truth you never knew through this trial. Sebastian! How dare you speak to me like that! You should have just stayed as an idiot son! You may have hated me by the very end, Pops. But I've always looked up to you. I'm not sure. Goddamn. Thank you for everything up until now. And fuck you. You since when did you all you've ever been able to do was depend on me? The best year. Good. Fuck this guy. Jesus Christ, I hate him because <laughs> Alright, he's burned. He's gone. It has been established that the evidence was concealed by Blaze the Best himself. 
A judgment regarding his concealment of evidence shall be delivered at a separate trial. The missing chisel and knife still have yet to be found. However, once a search of the waste disposal site is underway, they will surely be discovered. The knife will be found. What will happen to me if it's found? No need to worry. You'll simply receive the punishment you deserve for your crime. Uh, punishment for me? Hey, it's what in the world are you doing? You... You... Trying your best in not being able to create your own truth and not guilty verdicts. That's why I contacted you meet after the prison in the first place. And to make my little worse, you even kidnapped the wrong kid. Give this. You really, you really, 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 really are completely useless. That was certainly a violent outburst, but you heard her prosecutor the best. Yeah, she got flustered and said a bunch of important stuff, right? Indeed, that's correct. He still doesn't seem quite sure of himself. Very well, and with that, this court is adjourned. Not so fast! Slow down! I, I, seriously, like, huh? you're breaking the speed limit! Who are you? I will see you guys next time. I'm Miles Edgewood, Ace Investigations. Oh, good day. <laughs> bye bye.